Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. Starting off with something new, this is Craftomation. Um, or I could hear someone, I could probably hear someone pronounce it as like Craftomaton. 101? Yeah. Uh, the, pr uh, the spelling's a little off for it to be Craftomaton, but I could, I could see it. Hey, we're all just people, we're all just gamers, we're having a good time, but this is Craftomation 101. Um... Let's see, the developer reached out to me a couple of weeks ago, and I'm finally getting to it now. Uh, my work has been nuts, but that's not the point of this video. Um, they said, hey, uh, seeing like you like Factory Town, and you like uh, Cuba Factorium, and you like Autonauts, and you like all this stuff, I think I've got like a really solid title for you. And I'm like, hit me up. So they slid me a key, they're like, you know, see what you think of it. I'm like, we have no, no fighting here, I'm down, I'm in, let's do this thing. So, I don't want to oversell or undersell what this game's about. This is my first time really delving into it, so we're going to experience everything together for the first time. Um, I don't have the key strats, I don't have anything like that. We're, this isn't MLG gameplay, we're just going to have some fun with it. Uh, brand new blind playthrough of Craftomation 101. So I'd like a new game, please. Pretty please. I've been really digging on chill games like this. They allow me to like wake up and sip my coffee and cuddle my cats and this isn't like, oh my god, biters are gonna kill me right away, right? Though I do enjoy a little bit of biter action. I turn down the audio just a little bit. I like it, it's xylophony. Oh maybe a little louder. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, uh, continue. Mine... Do I do the mine? Oh! New object stone. Okay, cool. So I interact with the environment. And there we go. Ooh, okay. Okay. Merge stuff. I can get behind that. New object. Cool. Okay, so we have stone to spark. Oh, and it still has the recipe there. Awesome. Because, oh, I, I can pin it. Cool, okay, because knowing my my silliness, I'm gonna forget everything. Okay, boop. Fire, okay. Drag fire to the rocket to unfreeze it. Boop. New object, bonfire, okay. You just... Okay. Let me guess it needs fire, okay. Well, we've just been down this road, so this is easy, boop. And ziboop and ziboop. So frozen robot dudes. Combine head and body to assemble crafto mate. New object head, okay. New object body, okay. Oh, uh, does it say what it oh okay. Yeah, right. New object, crafto mate. Hello little friend. Find stone. Find coal. Now, does it matter how I combine it? What if I do this? Coal brick. Okay, that's your fuel source. Juge the slow. Or judge, maybe? Okay, so that powered you up. Follow the on screen highlights to create your first program. Okay, click on this guy. Show the editor. Find and pick. Help craft me to find the nearest element, specified type, and pick it up. Okay. Uh, what do I do now? Um. Did I already break the tutorial? <laughs> I might have. I might have clicked in the wrong spot. Uh, I don't want to skip it. If I hit delete, will it, okay. Oh, am I supposed to drag it? Hold on. Find and pick. Oh, okay. Uh, so click in here. Stone. Oh, that audio, hold on. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just early in the morning, but the music, the music volume seems to be creeping up a little bit. Okay, uh, where were we? Okay, just resume where we left off. This, this. 
Pick up stone. Now what? Find and pick. Oh, can you hold multiple things? Are you supposed to hold... Oh, okay. You are supposed to grab... Okay, combine. Find and pick. This is going to be coal, isn't it? Yep. Combine. Drop two. Oh, and then a coordinate. Okay. To idle. Turns to idle state. There's a program upon idle be executed. Okay. Uh, boop. Nope. Uh, that goes away. Okay. Uh, interesting. So we could probably break this up into visual chunks. The find and pick phase. The combine phase. The, oh, that doesn't move the code. Okay. Uh, I just gotta get used to the, uh, the UI. So something like that works out pretty well. So this is our go-to 10 line right here, right? Gets us all the way back. This is going to ensure this fire is always fueled right here. Now, do things have finite quantities? Because we can't just do this forever and ever. Execute program. Oh, it shows where he is in the code and what he's holding. Oh, that's really cool. And you place the fire. Cool. Execute a program and return to idle. Nice. Close that. I could see this being amazing for anyone that really doesn't understand logic at all. Like they're not a programmer, they're not they're not a script kid or whatever. Like but what they're really doing is they're just trying to like understand how any logic works at all. This seems pretty cool. I like this. Uh create brick. How do I create brick? Clay brick is, is that clay? Hold on. Stone and soil. Okay, I gotta find soil. Is this soil? That's soil. And that's a stone. Yes, these are not infinite items. So clay brick. A bonfire is a brick and some coal. Music is creeping a little bit. I'll I'll post uh, my feedback to that um, to the developer. That's not a problem. Uh, that goes there. This is the music's a very minor thing. I'm not bothered with it at all. Light it with a thing to unfreeze a thing. Okay, we've already been down this road. How you do? Now he's not gonna fuel this one. Also, he's only gonna fuel the one we've specified him to fuel. Oh, I got another guy. Uh, was it two coal makes a thing? Nope. Coal and a stone. Makes a coal brick. Uh, you could eat this, actually. Okay. Uh, command center. I receive 15 stone. You receive. Okay. So is there a pause? Okay. I want to automate everything. I'm a lazy guy. <laughs> um, in real life, even, I kind of figure if there's anything I'm ever going to do once... Automate that shiz, right? Um, there's no reason to do the same task over and over and over again. Now, what do I mean by automating? Well, I can't really automate everything. Um, but, like, if I'm purchasing an item every time I go to the grocery store, maybe it's cheaper I buy a bigger bulk of that item. And it is. It's usually cheaper to buy something in bigger bulk. That's a way of, like, okay, cool, now I don't have to do this task every time I go to the grocery store. That's a really simple example. When it comes to this, I have, I'm not going to click 15 times to give it stone. Forget that crap. I'm not doing that. What I could do is I could automate this campfire, which I can do myself very easily, but I'm going to have Fifth the Nimble do it instead. So let's see here. I want you to find and pick a stone. And then I want you to, let's see, go to point, drop to, combine to idle, drop to storage. Um, is it drop to this? Um, to idle, I guess. Let's see if that does anything. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's, uh, I paused the game. He's adding it and then taking away and then adding it and taking it away because that is the closest item. Okay, that's that's fair. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a go to point 
to make sure he's a little bit away from all this. Can I break this? Okay, I want this to go here instead. This is very intuitive. I like this. I want you to go, like, there. I have to mess with that music again. Uh, I want to enjoy the music. It just seems like it's getting continuously louder. But like I said, that's a minor thing. I'll reach out to the dev with all the stuff that I want to I wanna chit-chat about. Okay, go to point. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build a little bit of buffer. He'll move away and then check for stone. So the stone that he deploys, he's not going to touch again. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to do some of this action real quick. Oh, I need another stone. Thanks. Boop. And a boop. And nope. Nope, that's my fire. Get, get out of here. Come on. Come on, you. Oh, uh... It's like this? There we go. Oh, cool. Uh, how far are we? 5 of 15? Okay. What I need is more bots so I can automate uh, fuel production. And then with fuel production, I'll put it in a storage, I guess was part of the code. And then with that, I can uh, make this easy. I'll say every time something something, just go get more food. Oh, running, running out of stuff, running out of stuff. Uh, I did this wrong. Okay, you can have that one. That's it. Nope. The game's fairly forgiving. If I accidentally grab somebody, it's not like it interrupts them too hard. Okay, I definitely need, uh, I need more bots. Maybe the stone thing isn't what I should have automated, and I should have automated the bonfire. But that's okay. That's half the fun of learning, right? You can have that. How much stone is in here? Oh, there's not a lot of stone to be had in many of these items. Okay. Uh, so now... Okay. I bet you what happened is an error. Because there's something in the way. So, I want to see something. Go to point. On error. I want you to just go here. Okay. And now nothing will ever happen again because he'll never go to idle. He doesn't have the code anymore. We stuck him in what's generally referred to as an infinite loop, but there's not really a, a loop here. Not... Not the way the code is expressed. Um, this is effectively an if-else, or an if-then, or uh, however you want to say, if, if success, cool, if not, boom, or I don't know, whatever the cool code kids are doing nowadays. Um, so how do I refresh? Your program, copy program, reset program. So reset program will put him back to start, probably. Okay, cool. So I want to delete you anyway. Um, let's go ahead and shrink you down. Another craft dome meat. Ara the Ugly. That's unfortunate. Okay, so what I want is this guy's code. So I'm going to click on Judge the Slow. I'm going to do... That's up there. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say Copy Program to Fifth the Nimble. Did that work? Okay, cool, it did. Instead of there, I want to change this. I want you to drop to there. Oh, drop to there. Okay, so now 5th and Nimble ought to handle all the automation bits. Oh, uh, I have to hit play, don't I? Uh, execute program. 5th and Nimble should now handle all the fueling requirements for this. There's your spark. Okay, there's no collision issues. Oh! Oh god, okay, hold on. <laughs> There's no collision issues when it comes to bots, so that's cool. Um, let's see, I also got a green thing? What's a green thing? Game paused. Upgrades. 
Uh, tells Craftimate to consume an object it's holding in hands. Although Craftimates can digest almost anything, only certain elements are truly nutritious to them. Cold bricks are fine on early stage of the game, while batteries, though harder to craft, guarantee a full recharge. Oh, okay, so this is what we use our upgrades for. They unlock a little more code. Counters unlocks counting. Compare count. That's cool. Energy compare. Repeat. Nice. Uh, when placed on the work field, this trigger will check a crafting each charge level. If it's above 7, the program will go through the upper output. Awesome. So that's how we could say, hey, check yourself before you wreck yourself. And every so often, we can say, what's your energy? What's your energy? What's your energy? Okay, you're under 7. Go get a snack. Go get, go get a quick meal. Right? And that'll be cool because we can keep all that moving on. Like several commands. Oh, right. Okay, right, left hand. Compare, pick. Awesome. Okay. Um, if this is... Okay, hold on. If this is... Oops, wrong button. If this is what we're going to use upgrades for. Yeah, upgrade, objects, wiki, settings. Uh, what's next? Bugs. Okay. Cool. Now the music is too low. <laughs> I'm a real temperamental type. Would you would you have known? Um, okay. Uh, what were we doing? Oh, uh, upgrades. Right. There's no other upgrades. Uh, upgrades give us better code. So I would like eat. Cool. I'm not gonna go through everything else, and we're not gonna go all the way down the tech tree. That me doing that usually gets me. Uh, flustered because I get overwhelmed of all the other cool crap and everything and then I'm like oh man there's just too much to do um, for the spark I think I'm gonna do this one myself they could do this pretty freaking fast Oop. you're on top of my spark buddy oh you ate it oh no get Get out of here. <laughs> <coughs> ba doo Okay. Uh, I've got another guy. Boop. They don't lose battery power as they're chilling, so that's cool. Um, the music's really loud again. It's above seven. Yeah, I want, I want energy, I think. Energy britches. Compare objects, functions, variables, smart find and pick. That's all very cool. Uh, this is a button I wanted to hit. Let's try that. Okay. Um, what else we got? It's a storage with five charged steel plate. Okay, I'm gonna guess we're at the bottom of the map. Uh, logs. Those look like health tonics. What are these things? Speedy ale. Okay. Judge the skinny. Fifth the sweet. Bunch of batteries. More soil. Fifth the wise. Bzz, the good. Whole brick, whole brick. Okay, we got plenty of oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I could just drag from the thing. Okay, that's that's cool. Uh boop. Nope, oh, I need damn it. <laughs> You guys are just really excited, and as much as I appreciate that... Uh, what is this? Paint? I'm looking for... Steel, which is... Iron. I haven't seen iron yet. Uh, iron. Oh, there's iron. Okay, so we need another campfire... Over here-ish. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to automate fuel if possible. So let's pause the game real quick. <coughs> Judge the slow, I want to talk to you, my friend. This is going to be kind of interesting. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to break this up somewhat logically in between two parts. So we have... Oops, we have the top line, which is our normal ops, our normal operations. However, what I want is an energy checker. Energy check. So this energy check is going to see how much energy we have. If we are okay on energy, we're going to go through the normal combine and everything, right? 
If we're low on energy, can I copy individual chunks of code? Does Control C, Control V do anything? It does. Oh, dope. Awesome. Okay. Um, if we're low on energy, we need to go and we need to build up our reserves. Find and pick. Find and pick. And combine. And then I need you to eat. And then I need you to... Oop. I need you to go... Oh, does it work like this? Oh, cool. Okay. So, I think I've got this set up properly. If normal operations were okay on energy, I didn't change anything. It should drop, this should refill the thing. If you're low on energy, you should make something and have a nice snack. Let's go ahead and hit resume on you. You are already low energy, so you're going to finish whatever you're doing. Yep, you're finding a stone. Finding a coal, combining, num 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 num. Cool, he's got energy. And right back up, because he's got more energy, he went the top line? Yeah. I kind of want to see it loop around the I'm low on energy thing again. No, he's still good on energy. Okay, cool. Let's pause you. Uh, see the craft to make craft a thousand objects. Holy crap, already... Already at a thousand? I want you to copy to fifth the nimble. And we're gonna edit fifth the nimble real quick. Because his code is slightly different. I want you to reset. Reset just means power off and on again, right? Let's get it back to the beginning. And now execute. And you should be just fine. Yep, you're still above power. Uh, Judge the Slow ought to be getting a tall drink of something real soon. Oh, they have 30 power. Oh, they, they still have quite a bit of power. And it says less than 7, yeah? 18. Okay, so the number doesn't... Well, it, he looks like he's about to pass out, right? But that doesn't necessarily match how much he's got. So I got to get used to the scale. So, okay, we got that going on. Let's go ahead and pause again. Um, I need another bonfire. So, bonfire was what again? Uh, nope. Uh, there's a recipe book, is there not? Objects Wiki, yep, cool. Bonfire is brick and coal. Coal is just coal. Okay, so soil and stone gets us brick. This and this equals this. This happy chappy. Can I can I move him like really into the field? No, I can't put it where snow currently is at. Hopefully we'll get some better fuel things later. Uh judge, I need to borrow your code, my guy. Oh, I could just I don't have to open that. You go to Ara the Ugly. Ara. I need you to drop off there. And that's really all I need to do. Yeah, get out of here. Have fun. Have fun, you crazy kids. Cool. Somebody got a snack. That's a good vibe. Now, can I cheese and move this? Cheesing isn't really what I was saying, but like, mechanically, can I just move this up? Um, iron. Cold. Can I still mine it, though? Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, how, do we know how to make steel, or do we just figure it out on our own? Oh, we do know. Uh, it's uh, that and fire. And what do we get? Two... What are those? Storages. Okay, I'd like to do the first one on my own. Even though automating would be perfect. If it's going to the... I messed up already. What did I mess up? Oh, fire, not just coal. Ha ha ha. Don't take it. Oh, damn it. Don't take. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> okay. That's steel. The reason why I was going to do it myself is because I don't think we... Oh, we have a ton of steel there. A ton of iron. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go through it. I don't have a storage yet. I was waiting for that storage, but that's okay. Um, Beth the Chubby. <laughs> okay, my friend. Um, let's see here. Oh, let's, um... Actually, before we do any of that, let's copy somebody else's code. Because we could use their recharge code. Copy to Beth the Chubby. I need to unpause. Copy to... Okay, I think we got it. There we go, okay. Um, the main reason is I wanted to keep all of your low energy check. Plus command. Oh, does that mean just like more more commands are coming from the upgrades? Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, uh, balance mode. 100% speed, 100% energy consumption. Oh, cool. Oh, I I like that very much. That's really cool. I like the, just little little stuff like that might be like really code heavy. I don't know, but it's really freaking cool being able to customize like that. Um, okay. All of our campfires are out. That's unfortunate. Is it all gonna? Oh, oh, and the game's paused. Okay, it stops the animation. All right. Uh, fine, 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 fine. Let's get back to you. The whole reason why I wanted to talk to you is because you still have stuff I want to do. So you're going to look for iron. And you're going to pick up... Uh, what was it? Fire? We need? Crap, I keep forgetting things because I'm super smart. Uh, fire. Fire is spark and coal. So this is going to be a little more complex. But actually, this is going to be really cool. So... This already gets us to fire. There's no need to redo any of this. So I'm going to nuke this. Boop. This already gets us to fire. Now we're going to find and pick. That goes away. That comes here. The neat... Okay, so it readjusts when I open the menu. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, little, little quirks like that are cute, I think. Okay, you're going to find... Uh, this. You're going to find iron. You're going to combine. Nope. Oh, there we go. Uh, now you'll have iron. And I want you to drop it to there. And that's it. So you're going to do 90% of what everyone else is doing, except one more thing. There's already a bunch of iron here, so this ought to be pretty easy for you. There's the first steel. Easy cake, right? You're going to grab and you're going to combine. Execute a command center goal. That's what I'm doing, dude. A little bit of a reminder of what we ought to be keeping track of. And that's totally fine. So it seems like these robots are right-handed. Uh, the right hand, you know, relative to them, while they're facing us, their right hand is what's doing the, the combining... No, because I'm looking at a different bot, and they're not right-handed. Even though they hand off to their left hand to hold stuff, which makes sense. I think we lost our music again. Okay. And that should get us iron, or, or steel. Yeah, we're going right to steel. There's no iron here. It goes from, like, no iron plates. Okay, storage. And did I get an upgrade with that? The game paused, overwrites all that stuff, which is unfortunate. Okay, uh, what do I want? Counters? Mm, let's see here. Direction. More precise control over hand manipulations? I don't think I need that yet. 
Compare objects. Compares objects carried by craft mate with an object on the map follows one of two branches. Uh, okay. Functions are nodes that allow the creation of prefab program bits for any purpose. You can add as many inputs outputs as you see fit to them. Afterwards, you'll be able to add functions to any program as a single node. Awesome. So a function is exactly as it says on the till. We'll be able to build a refuel function. So instead of me copy pasting all this code over, 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 we'll create a refuel function at the beginning of every chunk of code. And it's going to pass either into itself the energy level and then do all the work. That's how we can really trim up our code real neat. Unlocks variables. From now on, commands that require an argument can have variables for input. Variables are nodes that store values. Yep. Awesome. Unlocks a node. Search for items in a storage, on the ground, or whatever. Oh, I want that. I want that. Uh, yes, please. Okay, thanks. Uh, we don't have any more uh, points, but we'll get there. So, okay, what's next? Craft a steel plate. That's easy enough. Uh, Fef, we're going to change your stuff up a bit. We're going to put a storage right here. And we're going to change your code slightly. Instead of bringing it to there, I want you to drop off there. Okay. Thank you. What I could use is I could use a second Fef. Fef the chub. Oh, I don't have any more bots. <laughs> I could... Oh, uh, we could go get Bzz the good. I can't move these anymore. Oh, I can pull the fire out of them? Oh, neat. That's not what I wanted to accomplish, though. But that, that's neat. Um, I guess let's just deploy this storage so it's not on the ground, right? I can move it. Okay, can I move this when it's full? No. But anyway, that is steel plate. Boop. You guys are just going to snack that up, aren't you? Yep, thanks. No, 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 I wasn't doing anything or anything. Uh, fire and soil. And then brick. And then bam. Nope, it's just coal, actually. Boop. Boop. And boop. Hello, friend. Why don't you come over here? Buzz the good. <gasps> Pants. Neat. Batteries. More energized plate mabobs, storage, plus water? Steel plate plus water? I don't know what that is. Paint, paint, paint. There's a lot of paint. I'm just gonna do this on my own. Boop. Uh, oh, uh, Fef. Where's Fef? Fef the chubby? Give it to Buzz the Good. Bzz, bzz the good. Yep, have at my guy. <laughs> yep, that can all freeze over. That's totally fine. I just wanted another iron worker. Now, to make things significantly more efficient, once we get containers and being able to reference containers, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to build localized storage. Now, might, you might be like, John, what do you mean localized? Well, here's kind of the thing, is we have coal over here, we have iron over here, we have stone up here. What would be cool is if I had one robot just pound a bunch of stone into the sparks, right? Put a storage right here. All you're doing is that. Then every other single robot doesn't need to keep crafting everything out of the sparks or taking, you know, doing that part of the code. They can just grab from this storage bin, and it saves a lot of extra effort than a bot having to fuse all these things up. But I think we could do a lot of modernization once we get storages and being able to check storages for quantities and interacting with those quantities. I think it's going to be cool. And actually, I just realized something. These guys are shrugging like crazy, and I was wondering why. Uh, the reason is they can't get to any of the stuff. Their code's all bajorka jorked Also, 
grants us a new guy. Okay, we're going to pause right here. Uh, fifth and Nimble, I need you to copy your code over to Judge the Skinny. Before we go any further, there we go. Um, let's check your code. You're going to drop off to there. You need to keep this nice and piping hot, my lad. Okay. Yep, now, now we're getting iron. <laughs> Reason why we weren't getting iron a hot minute ago was because it wasn't hot. It was gold. Okay. I think we're doing pretty well. I'd love to see, like, the next tier of... Uh, campfire, if there is such thing. Boop. I don't mind doing this part of the crafting myself. I'm actually out of bots anyway. Now, one thing I'd like to better understand while we're doing things is each operation costs power. Okay, I see a 0.1 icon in the bottom right. So that must be 0 0.1, 0 0.0. Maybe that's how much energy it consumes. So actually, 7 energy is a lot of energy in this regard. And I wanted to figure that out because the whole... The energy check is below 7 energy. When placed on the work field, this trigger will activate if craft mates. Charge level drops below 7. That's actually really, really safe. I was wondering, because like we're seeing the little red bar, and the red bar is so tiny, tiny on their heads, and I'm like, oh no, Bleep Bloop's gonna go blam blam, or whatever, I don't know. I'm a genius of words. And uh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Oh! And you ate it. Whoops. <laughs> I wanted to put it on the ground, but that's fine. Here's this. We're going to have this in no time. It, we're going to have it in snow time. <laughs> yep that's a very minor thing right now uh with any amount of bugs like that's the only bug i've seen so far everything else seems to be fine yeah i'm really digging this game and like i said before i think this game would be absolutely perfect for getting to understand logistics and not even logistics but logic uh the fusing part of the game is cool and easy and it plays well i'll take my two bots thank you Oh, that's how we make more bots with the pants. Um, we got an upgrade. Let's pause the game. Upgrades. I want search for items in a storage on the ground or whatever. I think that's what I want. I think that's what I want. The other thing I wanted is functions, but I think I can wait on functions. Or I want functions right now. Arrgh. I don't know. Um, let's, let's do smart pick and have. Okay. So, I would, oop. how would we do this? We have two more bots. I want to, oop, I don't want this. Edible paint? It's edible paint? Well, here. There you go. Uh, bon appetit? Oh! Interesting. Okay. That's actually really cool. We could do some visual classification on job roles based on that. So let's see. I have two more bots. Uh oh, you need you need one of those things. Oh crap. I wasn't paying attention. That's what was needed. Um unknown object. Uh let's do the this again. Nope. Wasn't that. Wasn't that. Paint extremely cold. Oh, I thought I saw how to get that item, and now I don't know how. Um, that's fine. Here, uh, eat up a little more. Cool. <laughs> Gross. 
<laughs> gross. Uh, I mean, whatever. Humans eat weirder things, so I don't know why I'm saying that's gross. Um, okay, I got two more bots. Oh, this says create sand. Oh. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I probably need sand for other stuff. So what do we need? Sand is soil and fire. Okay. Um, I don't see any more close bots. We could rush. I could plant one there, plant one there, and that would get me fifth the sweet. Um, what else? There's some goodies there. What is this? A rotor? Oh, okay. All right, all right. Um, I don't want to shortchange myself on bots. That's why I want to be a little bit careful. If I commit these two bots to convenience, and I'm like, yeah, I just want you guys to just uh, collect all the stuff that I said before. Um, I don't know if that would be helpful or not. Um, let's let's go through what it says. Let's create. Let's create. Um, sand. Okay. Oh, I clicked too fast. There's sand. Create that. I get that, but how? Sand and fire. Okay. So you're seeing many, 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 many things require fire. Oh, it's glass. Oh, I thought it was a bubble. Okay, well now we know how to do that. Because of so many things just requiring fire, I think what we could do is, I think it makes sense to automate a bot to just literally make fire. We have a lot of stone here. That doesn't mean we should be complacent, but we have a lot of stone here. Um, I'd also have to redo some code. So let's see here. I think I want to do our complete reclassification of everything we're going to do after we get functions. I think that makes sense. So, Oppo the Strong, because I don't have, I didn't get functions, right? I got Smart Find and Pick, yeah. What's this? Unlocks a set of nodes that allow craftmates to pause themselves or other craftmates along with the ability to feed other craftmates and wait. Oh my god, so good. Very excited. Okay. Um, you're doing some refueling stuff. We're going to copy you to Oppo the Strong. And Oppo the Strong. Oh, what's all... Oh. Find and pick... Uh, from the ground, from storage, from source. Oh, okay. So each of them listed here shows what it can do. It's default everything, so that's perfect. Okay, so where are we at? At this point, we have fire. Um, what I would like you to do is I actually want you to... Oppo the Strong, I want you to do... Drop it... there. You're gonna work in tandem with somebody else. Go for it, please. And I'll peek the Mary. Once we get one fire in the thing, I'll be happy. Boom. Okay, cool. So, peek the Mary. Oppo the Strong. You're going to copy to peek the Mary. Now, let's see here. Delete. Can I delete multiple things? Uh, no, you just gotta right click, okay. Delete, delete. Uh, you're gonna find and pick fire in a bin. Now... Can I specify the exact bin? I only have one bin. Um... The only real way I could find and pick, pick, pick from. Yeah, that's what I want. Pick from there. Okay, that's better. Delete. Okay, so now we have fire. The other thing I need is soil. So, uh, find and pick soil. There you are. And then you're going to combine. This is going to give us... I forgot. Oh, sand. 
And then you're going to pick from, again... And this is why I wanted a bot just to do fire, because I knew this was going to be a little fire intensive. You're going to combine. You're going to drop to there. I think that's everything. Let's let's watch one of these. Okay. Uh, I forgot which bot I'm looking at. <laughs> Crap. Okay, is it you? Uh, no, Peek the Mary. Where, where'd you go? Ara, Biff. Uh, where's Peek? Ara, Judge, Bzzz, Oppo, Judge, where's... Where'd you go, kid? There you are. Yep, okay, Peek the Mary. So you're gonna grab some soil and combine. Now you have sand, now you're gonna go get fire again. And combine, and now you have glass. Glass gets dropped. Okay, someone was already on the tile. So it's an important point to note that whenever they fail, the code doesn't die. Under normal code, if you're not building in error catching, the code will just die. It's like, I erred, I don't know what you want me to do. So what you should do, like from a programming perspective, you do code like, a, it'd be called try. Um, there's other ways to do that. Um, but like in Python, I think where I've seen it most common is like try. I want you to try this. And what that really does is it builds in an ability for you to say, okay, it didn't work. Don't worry about it. Uh, craft a mate picked up a storage probably by mistake. Oh, crap. Hey! <laughs> uh, um, okay. Find and pick. Pick from. Yes. That was a mistake. Uh, you're going to reset. <laughs> you're going to reset and you're going to stop. How do I stop you? No, don't clear. Reset, execute. This, uh, uh, no, I want you to stop legitimately. Reset program. Okay. Resetting does not allow stopping. Uh, nut bunnies. How do I... If I hit execute program again, does it? No, it doesn't do anything. Um, okay, this... That looks like that. Uh, peek the Mary. No, I... Oh. Oh, you can pause code while they're running and the game is not paused. Okay, that's another thing. I got a little notepad here. I'm jotting down uh, some things. Some things I'll take back to the developer. Okay. So one way we're going to get around this is I'm just going to let it build up a little bit. Got a lot of people combining the same thing. So, okay, four should be enough. Uh, yeah, that's that's an interesting thing that they are pulling from the storage. So I got a Steam achievement for that. I wonder how we prevent that from happening. There's probably, oh, I know how we prevent that from happening. We prevent that from happening with uh, counting, which I didn't grab. Uh, checks whether the amount of objects in a selected tile is more or less or equal to a selected number. Uh, compare its current charge level. Yeah, so we could say, is the number of items in this box greater than zero? If it isn't, just wait a minute. If it's greater than zero, grab it. Do the, do the thing. Keep going, keep going, keep going, right? Um, I'd like to finish up this glass objective. And then I'm going to go ahead and call this our first episode, pre-release of, I gotta sneeze, hold on. Nope, we're good. Okay, Craftimation 101. Oh, that's been getting at me harder and harder now that we're in the thick of winter. Yep, we do burn through a little more fuel than can be picked up. Yep, we saw it again. That that square flashed red, meaning there was an error. Dude couldn't put it down. Square was already consumed. Totally fine.
Yeah, I'm looking for that other upgrade so we can get into functions. Functions are going to be so good. So I'll create individualized functions for, like, when do I ingest fuel? And the beautiful thing about the function is instead of me having to update however many bots we have now, like nine, instead of me updating nine different bots if we have a fuel change, let's say instead of uh, coal blocks, we get the batteries, right? If we're mass producing batteries, super cool thing is I change it in that one function. It's changed everywhere, right? Really easy. Instead of me going through every single bot and updating and changing, that would suck terribly. Oh, we got another bot. I'm going to pause. We're going to spend our upgrade. You're going right into functions, my guy. Boop. Okay. Not bad. So, next episode, we'll talk about functions and how those work. But let's call this an episode here, yeah? Thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.